And when you're serious, when you're serious, like, you don't have to make full-blown projections. You don't have to run some sort of sophisticated. You got steamer. You got fan, fan grab. I don't know. There's, there's like five projections. They're all projections, so that it can be rough. If you want to draft projections, go ahead. But I just want to share with you that the projections are based on last year's numbers. And everybody can look at that. They're the same numbers. They're last year's numbers. So get into the stats. Make your list based on last year's numbers and this year's depth charts. The best resource for depth charts is rosterresource.com. That's where you go. You go to roster resource and you can see lineups. And that will continue to update. They update the often. This is the best. You go there and look at the teams and look at who you think the best players are and lay them out. And then go look at the numbers and lay them out. This is what. Don't just go to ADP. Don't do it. This is this is what I learned. Never look at ADP. Don't you fuck. Don't you look at it. Do not go to NFBC and go to ADP and start just listing those names down and just list them down because you might as well not study fantasy baseball. Print that list out the night before you draft your snake and just pick the guy that goes in the highest draft. But if you want to have more fun, if you want to get serious, you want to dominate some leagues, play auction draft leagues, jump into some Yahoo free. I'm going to set you up. We're going to, we're going to work through the list and get ready to dominate the leagues. But... In the process of making the list, do not look at ADP. Don't do it. I'll let you sneak over. There's going to be times. This is this is how you do it. You make your list and you set it aside. You get it away from yourself, and then I'll let you go. And you can go check ADP. You can check ESPN ADP, CBS, and that way you can just get to know. You just make sure you didn't miss somebody. Oh, oh, watch out! Don't make sure you didn't miss where Walker Bueller's going because his numbers aren't that huge because he only played a partial season and you'd have to really dig in and, and find those numbers. So that that's the only use for ADP is to make sure that you're not just blanking and spacing on an entire player. And as the season approaches and right before your draft, not your auction draft, right before your, your snake that you're inevitably going to do, you can go and you can tweak and say, oh, wait a second, if I want this guy, I've got to push him up here. And that very well could be a mistake because... All we have is the numbers. You have last year's numbers. And that's where we're going to start. We're going to look at the numbers. And we're going to get rid of biases. That's the whole thing. You've got to look at the entire league. You can't say, I hate the Minnesota Twins, and so I'm not going to take any Twins players. Or, you know, I'm a Yankees fan, and Red Sox players disgust me, so I'm not going to take J.D. Martinez. you got to, like, get rid of those biases and just look at players. You know, like, I think... Nick Pavetta is trash. Well, last year he had a good year. So surprise, Nick Pavetta figured something out. He's got a fastball, and he could be okay. So don't be late because of some biases. You've got to go into the numbers. That's what we have for last season and predict what's about to happen in the future. And that comes from last year's numbers, this year's depth charts, opportunities, not just randomly taking projections. It's not that hard that you have to look and then you can line guys up. But you will ruin your draft if you just start to get into ADP groupthink because this is what's happening. NFBC is coming out first. That's causing panic. NFBC ADP becomes all everybody talks about all preseason, and that ADP starts to leak into ESPN drafts or Yahoo when they open their website. And those ADP mistakes kind of reverberate throughout the league and become worse there's this massive distortion and it becomes so easy to dominate leagues if you just get into the numbers my list will look nothing like adp you will have no idea how it happened and i will be dominating leagues and you know what my list does look like next year's adp that's my that's where my list is it's going to look like next year's adp because I'm out in front. I'm out in front of what's going to happen. I speculated and anticipated changes and trends that were in the numbers. Not just ADP groupthink that spilled over into several leagues and everybody just started calling it chalk and didn't do the analysis. Stay away from ADP lists. Get in. Do the work. Become better. Do the analysis. Figure out what stats work. Experiment. Experiment. 
try something in one league and say, oh, I'm going to see how this works. And if this works, I'm going to know for next year to keep doing this or to not keep doing this. That's what you got to do. If you're just some ADP sheep, just meh, meh, just, just set it to autopilot and just take from the list. You're going to draft better. You're going to draft better. Just take some ADP list, print it out, but, but don't pretend. It comes from last year's numbers. Look at the numbers.